Welcome back to Silent Hill Origins. In the last episode, we were exploring around the Cedar Grove Sanitarium, popping in and out of the other world, which has allowed us to go to many different areas that were sectioned off otherwise. And at the moment, we are in the other world, down in the basement for the first time. For the first time in the other world, that is the normal world, we've already been down here a bit. But in this world, let's check it out. Especially interested in the East Pipe Room, which maybe will have the key in it, now that we've flushed it down the toilet. The thing is, I don't remember whether we flushed that key down the toilet in this world or the other world. So I don't know if there's even any chance of me finding it in this world. If it was the other world, then certainly not. Hammer. I might have a full set of tools at this point. I've got a screwdriver, I've got a wrench, a hammer. I'm not sure what this is. Is this a tool? No, I think that's a fire poker. Let's reload that target pistol. We were never able to get into this room in the normal world, right? Yeah, so that's what switching worlds is going to allow us to do. A well-worn, uninteresting desk. Cool. Oh, ampule. I thought there was something else there. Actually, I think that's the first ampule that we've gotten. Let's unlock this. Meat hook. So wait a minute, is that it? I thought there'd be something I needed in here. Is it just a meat hook? Maybe it's just a sort of a shortcut. I guess the more mirrors you have, the better. Just in case you end up needing to go to the other world in this area. But yeah, there's no reason to explore outside of the storage room because we've already been all around here. Although, hmm, the pipe room is at the end here. I don't know if I've revisited. No, actually, I'm sure I haven't revisited it in the normal world now that I've flushed the key down the drain. So let me go check in this world. There's a key in the drain, but I can't reach it through the grate. Ah, okay, so it is in the normal world. I just need to pry the grate off? How would I do that? I mean, I have all sorts of tools, but they're weapons. I can't, I can't use weapons. I can only equip them, right? Yeah. So it would have to be an item. I have a future piece. <laughs> I can't even use it. I have a lucky quarter. No, no. Okay. Huh. Well, back to the bad world. Let's go check out the basement here. Something in there, but... Uh, let's go to the dead end first. Got a storage room. not open, and then the pipe room up here. Hmm. Maybe in this world, like, maybe the key is in this world as well, but it's missing the grate or something? Oh, yeah! Yeah, look at that! Interview archives key. That is a disgusting hole. Ew. My god. Ah, new enemy down here now that I've done this thing. Um, maybe I'll just run past him. Why waste my ammo? 
Oh. I didn't go very far down this pathway here. I don't know why the audio just stopped. Um, but it looks like it's cut off, so I guess there's not much reason in exploring that. Okay, I guess the next thing to go to is the archives. Problem is, I don't know where it is. Okay, I found it. It's up here. Next to administration, across from the library. Um, I'm in the normal world, though, because from the other world, it seems impossible to access it. At least with what I've unlocked so far. But very easy to access in this world. There's an enemy in front of us, though, but I'm just going to run past him. Oh, hi. I'm going to run past you, too. Understand. That's what you do with pests. That's what you do, isn't it? And he was a pest. Oh, he was a bad boy. Always has been. I tried to pretend he wasn't, but they were there to make sure I didn't forget. They? The people in the mirrors. They see it all. What's really going on. And it was their idea? Yes. They saw the devil inside of him. I had to kill him. My responsibility. My flesh and blood. I brought him into this world, so I had to take him out of it. Good wombs can bear bad sons, they say. I know you think what I did was wrong. I just want to understand. Helen... No! You want to keep me locked up, Doctor. But you can't. I can leave whenever I want. I can step through that mirror and into their world. This world is just a daydream. Helen? When will they bring me my boy? Hmm. So that's obviously from an interview with... Uh, now we know their name, Helen. I don't think we knew it previously. Uh, interview with Helen who tried to kill their own son. Um... So there's going to be kind of a pretty, I think, a pretty major story spoiler here that I'm about to say because I just accidentally spoiled myself on something by Googling it. Um, when they said the name Helen, I thought, wait, is that a character we already know, like Dahlia Gillespie? It sounded kind of familiar. So I Googled Helen, Silent Hill. Here comes the spoiler. I don't think this game's very good, so I, I wouldn't worry about the spoiler, to be honest. But I wouldn't blame you if you want to look away, he hear away. Uh, Helen. Last name, Grady. Helen Grady. Our character's name is Travis Grady. So, I guess we're the son that she tried to kill. Okay. Can't see anything on these shelves worth looking at. Now, what are you looking at, Travis? Ah, shotgun ammo. <laughs> A portable TV to throw. Reels of tape spilling onto the floor. Okay, so this is going to give us access to an area we've never been able to go to in the other world. Yeah, as you can see, I've not been able to go here. Actually, I've barely been able to go into the third floor in this world. Katana? I didn't even see it, I just saw that Travis was looking at something. <laughs> oh, the 
combat. At least we have that ampule, huh? A narcotic ampule. Powerful narcotic in these ampules can ease the pain of any injury. They pack a kick, too. Ah. You have a lot of shotgun ammo there. Oh, so we had 19. So 21 when you count the loaded ones. If I... are they still loaded? Yeah, we're loaded. Stairs down up here. Hmm. Is that gonna allow me to access somewhere I haven't been? Yeah, that'll allow me to go down here to the second floor, which I was never never able to get behind in this world. Okay. Basement. Those camera angles sure were something. Okay, we're on the left side of the basement. I think it's another, like, ripped up place you can't go. 
Oh, now we can go here. Hmm. And we can also go into the storage room. Uh, well, actually, hold on. What? Oh, right. I, I can't look at the map for the other world. Because I'm thinking maybe I've already been here in the other world, so maybe that's once again just a check out the storage room kind of thing. Let me go try it. No, we just haven't been here at all in the other world. Okay. Well, I've committed. Amber Incident Report. Reporting staff member Simmons. Incident Description. A male child entered into the sanitarium unchallenged and got through into female seclusion. Doors were left unlocked. He entered female seclusion room 5, at which point orderly Michaels observed him and alerted me. The boy was the child of a visitor and was taken away by his father. Failures. The doors to female seclusion were left unlocked by the orderly, and the staff in the lobby failed to notice the boy when he arrived in the mezzanine area. Recommendation. All staff to be reminded of the importance of locking ward doors. Review of staff to be conducted by duty managers. Can't go that way. Can I go up the stairs then? Because I can't go this way, right? Yeah. Hmm. So where's that going to take me? Ah, off to the left side, which I've never been in the normal world. We really are just visiting the whole place. On every level in both worlds, I think. Just slowly doing it. Yet another wrench. Not going that way. Unlocked from that side. Okay, so it's just a shortcut. Yeah, we've already been there, of course. I guess a shortcut to get to the basement? Probably? Because I can imagine if you missed something in any area, you would really want shortcuts. Okay, back to the other world. Checking out this long, weird diagonal thing. They haven't noticed me yet, so... No, you don't. Oh. Okay. I hate those enemies so much. So squishy.
Okay, so we're over in male seclusion now on the first floor. Also never been over here. Your razors. Oh, I got one myself. Looks like someone had an accident here. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was an accident. Sink is encrusted with dirt. I think the blood in the sink is a little bit of a bigger problem. warped by heat. The outside is scorched black. Perfume bottles. The tops are off, so everything inside evaporated a long time ago. Dressmaker's dummy. Boxes? The Dawn. I have so many melee weapons. Medications do not mess up. Room one, okay. A list and they're colored for some reason. Remember pills only for patients. As a <laughs> as opposed to what? For the nurses for fun? I would think that would go without saying. Uh, Alright, there we go. I just took a picture of it. Not that I have to, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's saved in my stuff, but it's probably easier to access a picture on my phone than to try to dig up the notes. Piles of uneaten food. Smells awful. Set of scales. Looks like they've seen a lot of use. There's got to be something to do with these rooms, a puzzle related to them that I just don't have yet. Let's go with a melee weapon for the nurses. No, let's use this. It's about to break. Let's get it out of our inventory. Ugh. Everything's breaking. Okay, just instantly explodes. Oh. 
Wait, so is that? Oh, infirmary. Scalpel. There's an ornate cabinet here with five miniature dolls screwed into its top. Take a look. Oh, this has got to be the thing with the cells and all that. Uh, take a look in a second. Nothing for me here. What about that box? You sure you don't want to pick it up and throw it at somebody? Are creepy. Right. So this is the dressmaker over here. This is the person with razors. Uh, not sure about the knife person. Someone was burnt. Maybe you? Is that a match you got? Okay, I went back there and put it all together. So in the first cell, which had a bunch of razors, it's the red medicine. So that would be you. Are you going to like eat it or something? <laughs> that is so weird. Uh, in cell two, it was burnt. And that's the blue medicine. You look kind of burnt. I think you're holding a match. Although it also sort of looks like a golf club. Cell number three was the dress. And that was yellow. So you. Cell number four was barred. It was heavily barred and they take green. Um, I guess it's you, because the next one must be probably this person. Maybe they look like, with the ribs showing, they look like super, super skinny. That was the one with food in it. So maybe they have an eating disorder or something. And that's blue. Dr. Harris's key! That's what we need. Dr. Harris has the key. Probably to the female seclusion ward, I would guess. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head to Dr. Harris's office. <laughs>